I wanted to touch upon the large subject, you know. I wanted to touch upon something where I can make an impact, you know, uh, quickly after learning and, you know, so. And uh, one thing I always knew that I want to solve this pollution issue. I will, you know, I will see my area clean. I never thought of becoming a nuclear engineer. I never heard of a nuclear engineer until I, I pursued this career. And later on, I wanted to pursue engineering, but I could not go out because of certain circumstances. So I, I pursued BSc and then I went for uh, MSc in physics. Uh, by the time I was uh, very, very much interested in nuclear physics and that was one subject I could would read on and on about it. So. Uh, so I, uh, but I'm a person who uh, is into more into implementing things, you know, technical aspect of it, R&D aspect of it. So I uh, did not want to go for a PhD because I knew that that would touch upon like one small narrow subject. I wanted to touch upon the large subject, you know, I wanted to touch upon something where I can make an impact, you know, uh, quickly after learning and, you know, so, and uh, one thing I always knew that I want to solve this pollution issue I will you know I will see my area clean and so I was at the time in Rajasthan in Bharatpur and I could you know struggle with pollution sometimes and I wish that uh, okay it's more green it's more clean I never uh, like polythenes on the road I wanted to solve all the problems but I knew that I did not have solutions to those problems at that time so I knew that yeah I wouldn't do something about the energy. I I want that all energy should should be it should not come from fossil fuels. It should come from something else. So nuclear energy yeah. is the energy which is released during a nuclear uh, reaction, either through nuclear fission or nuclear fusion. Uh, nuclear fusion uh, fission is the process of splitting heavy atomic nucleus into two or more small uh, smaller nuclei and releasing a vast amount of energy in the process. Uh, they, this energy is mostly released in the form of heat energy which is used to make steam and then it generates electricity. That's how nuclear power plant works and nuclear fusion on the other hand is uh, the process of combining two light nuclei into a heavier nucleus and it also releases a huge amount of energy in the process and more than the nuclear fusion and uh, nuclear fusion is the pro fusion is the process that uh, powers our sun and the stars and uh, both uh, nuclear fission uh, and nuclear fusion uh, are releases huge amount of energies. There are already nuclear power plants up and running around the world, which are based on nuclear fission. And uh, uh, but uh, nuclear fusion uh, is, a, is a project uh, which uh, we, we have not been able to harness uh, nuclear fusion to generate electricity. But there are many uh, projects which are uh, going on uh, where they are trying hard to make a uh, nuclear uh, fusion uh, you know, reactor work. Uh, one of the project, key project is ITER, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, uh, which is a reactor, experimental reactor being built in France, where there are just, it's an R&D reactor to see whether we can utilize nuclear, how to utilize nuclear fusion to generate electricity. And uh, nuclear energy uh, is um, one of the highest, uh, this nuclear energy is high, highest intensity of all. In nuclear energy, uh, one, uranium pallet when a uranium fuel pallet which is uh, uh you know as the size of a fingertip holds uh, as a large amount of energy as around one ton of coal so you can see that nuclear energy is um, uh, way higher has way higher energy density than fossil fuels and of course the land requirements to build a nuclear power plant are way less than uh, solar power plant and wind uh, farms so uh, that is why it is considered one of the uh, key solutions to our net zero carbon uh, targets and uh, so yeah there are definitely there are environmental and safety concerns about uh, around nuclear energy but uh, nuclear engineers are working hard to tackle the problems and uh, to 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 have safe uh, generation uh, of electricity from nuclear power plants You can enter into nuclear academics at after 12 also. So there are uh, post there are undergraduate programs uh, that is B Tech programs and there are also postgraduate programs and then PhD programs. 
so uh, entry level requirements that you should have uh, you know your fundamentals very clear because uh, you know so it's a uh, your your physics has to be very strong your physics and math has to be very very strong i mean even if you uh, after btech uh, so so yeah first i talk about the btech that you can uh, there are certain universities which provide a graduation course uh, in nuclear engineering not much uh, few in india uh, outside india there are many universities providing this uh, in india there are certain universities like amiti university and uh, uh, delhi Delhi University also uh, provides. So uh, there are just very few universities which provide, uh, you know, uh, BTEC in uh, nuclear engineering in India. So if you want to, uh, and Modi University uh, for girls in Seeger also provides offers BTEC course in nuclear engineering. So if you have, if you know for sure that you want to make a career career in nuclear energy, I would advise that you go for nuclear engineering. You go for BTEC in nuclear engineering because if you're clear that you want to make a career in nuclear engineering, but uh, I, so that is one way that if you then then after BTEC you can uh, I would advise to go for MTEC because MTEC uh, usually nuclear is a very uh, you know. Um, highly technical advanced field you have to have high technical expertise and so btech does not give you enough expertise because mtech offers you exposure um, mtech offers you you know industry uh results in everything so so i would uh, advise that after btech one should go to mtech where they can get uh, you know in the, uh, exposure to the research laboratories and uh, and, and and different many nuclear industries definitely so uh but yeah so uh, through BTEC they can enter then second what they can do if they want to pursue BTEC in some other stream and or if, because they are limited universities they do not get into one of the universities which offers BTEC course I say that okay that's that doesn't stop you to become a nuclear engineer you still can become a nuclear engineer by doing MTEC because um Many co uh, colleges like IIT Kanpur, Pandit Indial and University, uh, Bhabha Atomic Research Center, Training School, HBNI, they offer uh, nuclear science and engineering programs after BTEC. Uh, if you have BTEC in nuclear engineering or other relevant fields like mechanical, electrical, um, uh, CNI, control and instrumentation. So if you have uh, 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 done BTEC in these streams, then also you land a chance to become an engineer by pursuing and taking nuclear engineering. So, uh, and also, uh, if you want to, so one is work, becoming a nuclear engineer, oh, and another is working on nuclear power plants. So, if you want to work on a nuclear power plant, then you can uh, go there becoming a civil engineer, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, CNI, because it's a multidisciplinary field. So it, it takes, you know, a range of engineers. So uh, you can be any engineer, still you can uh, you can land a job at nuclear power plant. Um, but if you want to become nuclear engineer, who does the core nuclear reactor, uh, you know, who operates and who, who just look out how the reactor works, then you have to go for MTech in nuclear engineering. It depends upon your whole background, that how, how your background has been. Have you been doing uh, nuclear engineering from BTEC, MTEC, or you, you just uh, you did BTEC in some other stream like electrical engineering and then you did MTEC in nuclear engineering accordingly. And what uh, uh, what company uh, are you joining a research laboratory? Are you joining an organization? Are you joining a nuclear consultancy? Are you joining a nuclear power plant? So it depends, like what are you, which uh, institution you are joining accordingly you can lend a job of nuclear engineer for example at NPCIL uh, you know then then these who, who are nuclear engineer they 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 are responsible for designing deploying and you know um, nuclear reactors developing nuclear power systems second you can become nuclear scientist if you have done PhD in nuclear physics then or, or you, if you're already working in a research laboratory then you can uh, become a nuclear scientist i am a scientist because uh, after mtech and i've been a physicist i'm a scientist a physics a physicist and also an engineer which is a no i'm i'm, I'm definitely I, I lived my dream my my you know much bigger dream that i want to become all so i have you know i've been pretty much doing all jobs like entrepreneur engineer scientist and uh, you know so physicist which is uh, yeah <laughs> all right so 
a scientist does R&D activities uh, in the field of nuclear science and technologies in the laboratories uh, like Oak Ridge National Laboratory here at India Institute for Plasma Research, Baba Atomic Research Centers. So these are called uh, nuclear scientists. And then you can become radiation protection specialist, which is also I am. Um, so they this uh, they are responsible uh, for monitoring and minimizing the exposure of radiation in nuclear power plants and uh, other nuclear facilities. Then you can become a nuclear safety engineer, which is also how I am. I mean, yeah, now I'm realizing that, okay, I've done all these roles in these many years. Uh, so they ensure it's a very, very critical role. You you have to ensure, you know, the safety of nuclear power plant and you have to uh, design safety programs and write all the documents which are required to keep a nuclear reactor safe running. And, uh, you know, although and they, they need to uh, design the safety regulations, uh, which uh, all are supposed to comply with uh, for the safe operations of nuclear power plants.